Thing. Order! Order! You are an incorrigible delinquent at times. <laughs> Behave yourself, man! Aaron Banks made the single biggest donation in British political history when he passed £8 million to the unofficial Brexit campaign. This week, he was referred by the Electoral Commission to the National Crime Agency, which investigates serious and organised crime. In particular, the Commission doesn't believe Mr Banks when he says that he was the real source of that money. He's with you now. Were you the real source of that money? Well, thank you for having me on, first of all. Of course I was. The money came from a UK registered company. It was generated from cash, generated from businesses in the UK. And the whole misunderstanding revolves around the role of Rock Holdings as a holding company. Well, before we start, I'd just like to say, absolutely for the record, there was no Russian money and no interference of any type. All right, well, let's follow so the I money just want to be as absolutely it were. clear about that. So, where did the money come from? It yeah. went, when it went into leave.eu's yep. account, where yep. did the money come from? The money then? came from Rock Services, which was a UK limited company. It was generated out of insurance uh, business uh, written in the UK. It's contrary to some of the press reports in the FT and other <laughs> remain lean in publications. We insure nearly right. half a million customers a year, the size of Manchester. We turn over £250 million of premium. It's a sizable business. Well, I'll come on to that in a moment. I'm but just making but clear where just, it came from. Just to, just to clear out where it came yeah. from. So, Rock Services yeah. is what we call a shell company. It doesn't do much of its own, does it? Well, it's a service company, uh, but it's a UK-based service company. company. It, it doesn't generate that it, kind of money. I'm telling you that it came from insurance uh, business written in the UK. Mm. So, Rock Holdings is a holding company based in the Isle of Man that owns Rock Services. So, um, did any of the money coming into the Leave.eu come, come from Rock Holdings? Well, that's where I'm confused with the Electoral Commission referring this to the police. We've not, not been asked by the Electoral Commission to actually produce our bank statements. I think we have produced them to your show. You... And what is absolutely clear is it's a holding company, and during 15 and 16, there were no sizable amounts of money went into Rock Holdings. It is not possible for the, any money to have come from Rock Holdings to Rock Services. So Rock Holdings was not connected in any way to money going into leave.eu? No, absolutely not. It all came from Rock Services. Correct. Now, you told the MPs that the money came from, quote, another company that I own. Which other company was it? Oh, I've said that Rock Services is where the money came from. It was generated from insurance profits made there. You, you, t you told MPs that uh, Rock Services just delivers the cash. The yep. actual loan came from another one of my companies. I ask again, what was the other company? Well, the structure of uh, the, the, the company is that Rock Holdings is the holding company that is the owner of a number of different companies, Rock Services, Southern Rock Insurance, and other, other, other businesses. So, I ask so, you, but I'm so saying, what but I'm was saying, the company that gave you the I'm loan? I'm saying that, you know, it's UK-generated cash from my group of companies. There was no money came from the Isle of Man Rock Holdings. That is what is a question with the Electoral Commission. Well, the Electoral Commission simply doesn't believe you about that. Well, then why haven't they asked for the bank statements? Well, the you, company, they're, they're questioning it. You've given me the bank statements, you know, but it's I, only a snapshot, I mean, and some you, of it's redacted. It if, doesn't really prove anything. Well, like, you can have the unredacted uh, copy if you want. But it's not fair well, you, to put you, people's you, bank details there, is it? Uh, you know, and it, we don't know how many redacted. bank accounts Rock Holdings but has. But in any event, Andrew, what, well, well you, you, you could keep on going on that line of question yeah. forever, couldn't you? Why not? <laughs> in, in a sense, in, I mean, Rock Holdings, but let's I want be honest, to, I want is to an Isle of you... Man company, which is right. opaque. Yeah. I want to put Why you... Why is it I want to, I want to, Well, the Isle of Man Holding Company owns international businesses and it owns businesses in the UK. Mm. You know, the Remain, camp uh, the Remain campaign got money from what? Goldman Sachs, JP Morgan... That's irrelevant and, uh, no, to this. No, it's not irrelevant. It's irrelevant to this. They are, this is about right, what money on. went well, into leave.eu and where it came from. I disagree. It's not from. irrelevant because those are foreign-owned entities that own UK subsidiaries. We went to a QC to get the loan structure signed off, yeah. and he signed it off... And well, we put it forward in the, in, in I've, the right, I've, correct I've, form. I've, I've seen that judgment, okay. and the point is he doesn't refer to either Rock yeah. Holdings okay. or Rock Services. It was about so a different re, issue. I want to read... I'm no, asking you again, I've where did the you. money come from? Rock Services. I and where did the money that. come in? So the money we came into Rock Services We have an where? insurance business that generates a large amount of cash, 20 to £25 million pounds a year. We insure half a million customers. So this is the now same I want company to, I want to, that made a loss of £32 million in 2016. Well, you're referring to a different company then. You're referring to Southern Rock Insurance that so made which, £42 million the year before. So which company is this that you're, you're referring to now? You're, 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 which is the company you're, I'm that you're saying Rock Services about. did not... You, you just so made I'm, a number I'm up I'm just up asking there. you, what is the money? You've literally just made a number up. 
No, I haven't made the number Rock up. Rock Services over. did not lose £32 million last year. I'm reading Financial Times copy for yes, June. Yes, of course you are. The Gibraltar-based insurance company yes. owned by Aaron Banks made a loss of £32 yeah. million in 2016. That is not Rock Services. The previous year to that, it made £42 million. It's a series this is, of inter This is the Southern Rock Insurance. It's the Southern Rock Insurance. I don't, I don't want to get heated with you. No, you're don't talking, get heated. You're I'm, talking, I'm just yes, asking you yes, where Andrew, the money you're came talking from. about two different things there. The, the, the loan, sorry, the, the money came from Rock Services went to leave.eu. That's yes. a UK based company that had the cash to donate it. But in a sense, that doesn't really tell us well, anything. Now you're unless asking, we know where yeah, the money came into Now you're trying Rock to from. You know, say, well, I need to understand all of your finances. Yeah, Why? In, in a sense, because we, Why? Need, we need to know where the money came from. Well, there are read, lots of people let who me don't read, think you're okay. as rich as you say you well, are and don't really believe it's your money and it came know, from somewhere else. So BDO valued our business at £250 million in November 17, right. based on an EBITDA of something like £32 million, which I'll happily provide that sort of valuation. But I want to read to you what the Electric Why Commission... Why can't you give us the account? Why can't you show get a word money? in edgeways here? All right, come on then. It says... This is from the Electoral Commission. I am concerned that the only source of information is at best hearsay evidence. They describe me as enfant terrible. They go on to say this is a fish, potentially a fishing expedition and, and the case officer says, I do not mm. think an investigation would be appropriate. But that now they've, they've, they've changed their mind and they no, didn't investigate on, you and you, and you, were, you were found yeah. guilty of misreporting. Yeah, yeah and I'm just going to come on to that. So that's their initial position. They then go on to say, in addition, we will need to yeah. write to Stephen Kinnett to advise of our decision to investigate. This is a politically motivated... Uh, it's it's not. This is, this is all irrelevant. This is the Electoral it's not Commission have gone into your... I'm you know, sorry, they this have, is they not have, irrelevant. Then why didn't they ask me for bank statements and rock holdings? Well, I don't know why they didn't, but... Well, you tell me. Certainly the National Crime Agency can look well, at all the, of these the things National and Crime, can presumably the National follow Crime the money. National Crime Agency have had a referral from the Electoral Commission to investigate this. We're happy with that. We're going to cooperate with them. Mm. But I'm telling you... That the Electoral okay. Commission did not ask for our bank statements. Why? To really resolve this, we Go need on. the paper trail of the money that went into Leave.eu, and we haven't got that. We haven't seen the money coming into Leave.eu, and we don't I'm know sorry, where the we money have. came. That's all been evidence to the Electoral Commission. Well, the whole thing. We, we, have, we have seen no documents well, showing the money show, coming in. But, well, it's not the almighty arbiter of <laughs> the Electoral Commission law. We sent this to the Electoral Commission. Well, I mean, in another point, the by the way, they fined us for overspending. They said, well, we overspent by 10% of the 750. They then, in court papers, when we've taken them to mm. court, say, there appears to be a transcription error. In the a 77,000 is now 55,000. This is all getting too complicated. Yeah, well, it would eight be now. Million, You eight, just want to smear me. No, I don't want to smear yeah, you. I want do. to know, £8 million, no. pounds, biggest donation in British political yeah. history, came from companies involved with you, interleaved on EU. Where did the money Andrew, originally come from? It's not from? like I'm using a super injunction to try and hide my affairs Where did here. the money originally come from? I'm telling you, it came from, from a UK company Which that had company? cash generated in the UK. Which We've UK company? That, Rock Services. We've evidenced that to the Electoral Rock Commission. Rock Services is a shell company. It doesn't generate you money You just itself. said it's a shell company. You just read the well, FT. Well, no, I, mean, I don't. FT, I mean, the we, FT, we go along to Companies House I mean, and I mean, we look. The FT, by the way, in their analysis... We go along to Companies House and we look. The FT, in their analysis of my business affairs, missed out a whole company that supplies nearly 85% of the underwriting of my business. They've selected... Let, let's be honest about this, why this, this is happening. This should be easy for you to answer. It I've should answered be very it. easy for you to answer. What was the company that generated £8 million? I've pounds answered like, it. Rock with, Services. But Rock, Rock Services is not a trading company. Well, they, we're going to have to agree to differ on that. I think I know so my what, business what, affairs okay, better than you. What does Rock Services do that generates Rock that kind of money? Rock Services has all sorts of revenue. It generates some uh, insurance All sorts of revenue. Income. What kind of revenue? We insure half a million people in the UK, Andrew. Rock we services. turn over Rock services itself million. insures half a million people. There's a, it's a group of companies. I know it's complex for journalists to understand. It's not complex it's at very all. Com it's just, it's just complex. Complex. it looks like a company which well, doesn't no, generate that kind of money. As far as I'm concerned, I've given you the answer to the question. We know what this is about. This is about undermining Article 50. It's undermining the Brexit result. And it's a collection of very vicious Labour MPs that have grouped together with The Guardian and uh, mm. FT to try to undermine Brexit. We've, we've provided the bank statements to you. You say they're, they're redacted. You've provided well. Rock Holdings bank statements. Rock Holdings You haven't shows provided us the detailed right. stuff, the ins and outs of money right. going to Rock, Rock Services, Rock which Holdings. is crucial. No, it's crucial that it was reported that Rock Holdings was the source of donation. We've said no money went into Rock Services or very, uh, Rock Holdings or very limited amounts, and now you're saying, well, we must know the source of it. 
Rock Services. No, I'm asking you the source. source of the money that went into Rock Services. It's a UK company that generated the cash and will be able to evidence okay. that easily. There is no evidence of that kind of money in Rock Services accounts. Which you, we have looked I, for sorry, in companies' I'm house. sorry, it's it, what you're saying is wrong. So the company's house re I'm returns saying what are you're wrong. saying is your understanding of it is wrong. But, you know, we're, we're at the point now, aren't we, where, you know, we, we know the Electoral Commission have got a bias on mm. this. The chairman has called it a collection of nonsense. The MPs have biased. For a vote. The Financial Times well, is hold biased. On a Everybody second. is biased well, against it's the you. remaining part of the equation. It's 52 versus 48. It's beginning to sound a bit like a conspiracy theory. Well, the MPs committee is terribly biased against you. They're all dreadful remainers. The Electoral Commission are the yep. same. I don't know about you think the National Crime Agency are biased against you as well. I don't well. think they are, and I think they're going to see it for what it is. But I go back to what the Electoral Commission said when their own case enforcement officer said you shouldn't be opening up a case on press mm. speculation. You told Parliament yep. that Rock Services was just a service company. You've told me something well, I, very different today. I, I haven't seen the and actual transcript of, of that. I will go back and look at that. But I'm telling you that the source of the funding was Rock Services. Well, um, one of the things the Electoral Commission says is that you yeah. kept changing your story. Why well, do you keep changing your story? I don't think we have. We just expa we expanded on it gave the advice, you know... Well, first of all, good, you said it came from me, then you said it came from Rock Services. It has come from me. I am Rock Services. The you are Rock belong Services. belong to me, you know. I'm a UK taxpayer. The source of my funding, as long as it's legitimate and it's in the UK, is legitimate. So, do you own Rock Holdings, can I ask you? Uh, yes. You are, you are the main shareholder yes. and also the owner of Rock Holdings. Yes. And Rock Holdings has no connection Andrew, with the money... it's a group of insurance businesses that I own. Yeah. I don't know how to be any plainer than that. Right. But so, so show us the Leave.eu accounts in that case. Can you do that? Um, I, yeah, the Leave.eu accounts have been given to the Electoral Commission. They've, they've opined on our spending. Well, they've the, been through it. We, in fact, the, in fact, the, fact the Electoral Commission actually said that our loan structure was not wholly untransparent in their findings. What does it's not wholly untransparent mean, Andrew? A bit opaque, possibly. I don't know. It's not wholly untransparent. Hmm. That means right. it's transparent. Let's go right back to the beginning again. Okay, let's, and ask do that. You, let's do that. So there is this company, yeah. Rock Services, which you say is a massive yeah, insurance gonna, company. Tell you, by the way, massive no, insurance no, no. company which not, can generate I'm, eight million pounds. I'm not going to circle back. I've made my position crystal clear. You disagree with that position. You know, the FT and Guardian it's disagree. It's just, I don't. Do. I, I mean, we've looked at this. We don't see how Rock yeah. Services can generate eight well, million are, quid. Are we, are we not at the position where the Electoral Commission have referred it? We will explain ourselves and the accounting that went behind it. And I'm very happy with it. Well, it's not just us. The, the DCMS Select Committee says oh, yes. it is unclear yeah. where Aaron Banks obtained this money. Yeah. He failed to satisfy us that his own donations had, in fact, yeah. come from sources within well, the UK. Let's talk about real politics. You know, the Electoral Commission sat on this for five months. We, we've had no allegations put to us by the Electoral Commission, no correspondence in five months. They're due up in front of the committee on Tuesday, and what's going to happen is they're going to say, oh, well, it's not any of our business anymore. It's now over to the National Crime Agency, aren't they? But you, you no, five months you without any correspondence. About the Electoral Commission, right? Well, I, I, you said rightly bite so. me. You said bite rightly me, and they so. bit you. They haven't bitten me. They bit, they've bitten the same as the NCA. Look, it, it, if you thought about the number of corrupt politicians that have sat in this chair over the years, um, you have to say, what is the Electoral Commission? Well, hold it's on. a bunch of ex-MPs from the SNP, Liberal see, I'm Party. Sorry, this is what you I'm do. sorry, but this that's is what you do. What do when you mean, this is when what you, I do? When, you, when people ask you questions, you smear other people, say they're all corrupt, they're all dreadful. I'm sorry, how, the, can, the it be right for our says, how can it be right for our democracy to be overseen by former ex-politicians and MPs? How can it be right for how our democracy? How can it be right? How can it be good for our democracy when you respond to criticisms by Damien Collins, no. who's chair of that committee, yeah a Conservative MP, by writing to his constituents, calling yep. him a snake in the grass. Well, he is. And you say you <laughs> write to every one of his constituents. This is, yeah. That is old-fashioned, straightforward bullying, isn't it? No, it's not. I mean, straightforward bullying, by the way, is the Guardian blackmailing a, a researcher of Isabel Oakshot. And actually, then Lord Ashcroft had to fly over to, uh, to New Zealand. Of all the things I want to talk about, so, Isabel Oakshot is down <laughs> at the bottom of my list. I'm sure but, it is. What I, what but, I do know, want to ask you about I mean, is today's I mean, Observer story, right, okay. where, where it is suggested that there's been a great tranche of emails come out of Eldon Insurance, your insurance yeah. company in Bristol, yeah. which show that people were working there both for the insurance yeah. company and for Leave.eu. So, was that reported? Now, I can say that was reported to the Electoral Commission, and people, were, people that did work uh, from Eldon were transferred over on short-term contracts legally 
and then it was reported through the Electoral Commission in the right way. This is where a lot of this confusion comes from. You're talking about emails that were stolen from us, and you say you don't well, want to talk about Isabel, uh, I, I, Isabel really, I really don't. I know you don't. Because the guy was blackmailed and had right, to be well, flown I, back I, to I, Australia. I, 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 I want to ask you one other thing, and I've got however, a lovely bit here is, from the BBC, there, there is by a, the way. There is a quote. There is a quote in today's Sunday Times from you saying that you regret voting for Leave, that if you had your time over again, you'd vote Remain. Is that true? Well, I think what I said was that the corruption I've seen in British politics, the sewer that exists, and the disgraceful behaviour of the government over what they're doing with Brexit and how they're selling it out, mm -hmm. means that if I had my time again, I, I think we would have been better to probably remain and well, not unleash these demons. OK, Aaron Banks, now thank you very much thank indeed. You. Good afternoon, Aaron Banks, the political donor who gave some £8 million to leave EU, the unofficial leave campaign, has insisted the funds were generated by his businesses in the UK and says he has no deals with Russia. The Electoral Commission has referred Mr Banks to the National Crime Agency, saying it has grounds to suspect he was not the true source of donations made to the campaign group. Well, speaking to my colleague Jonathan Samuels a little earlier, he dismissed the watchdog as a complete shambles and said he's the victim of a witch hunt. The cash was generated in the UK, and the allegation that it came from the Isle of Man via our holding company, Rock Holdings, we've released our bank statements uh, to both the Mars show and a number of media outlets. It's all going out Monday, and it shows that there was no money came in from overseas foreign sources. OK, so if it didn't come from any Isle of Man registered uh, business, which would have broken the yeah. rules, where exactly did it come from? Yeah, look, I run an insurance business with half a million customers. That's the size of Manchester. We employ a thousand people and we turn over 250 million pounds of premium a year. I mean, the, the press reports are slanted, but then we know what this is about. It's uh, the Remain campaign trying to tarnish the Brexit campaign. As far as I'm concerned, We've released the bank statements for Rock Holdings, which was a holding company that doesn't trade, and it's absolutely clear that no foreign money came into it. Um, it's just allegation after allegation. It's a, it, is a, it is a bit of a witch hunt. I have no connection with any Russian businesses. I've done no deals in Russia, and I've had lunch with the Russian ambassador a couple of times. I've also had lunch with the head of the CIA in London. I've had lunch with French uh, uh, diplomats, Germans. I mean, why shouldn't I? Let's get uh, more analysis now from our political correspondent, Lewis Goodall. The point of all of this, why does this matter? On one level, you might say, well, this is just a rich businessman. It's up to him what he does with his money. Let's not forget the £8 million that Mr Banks loaned or donated to the unofficial uh, campaign, leave, uh, the Brexit campaign, Leave.eu, was the biggest donation in British political history. It was a huge sum of money for any one man to give. He, of course, had previously been connected with UKIP, given them a lot of money, really bankrolled the party when Nigel Farage was leader, a very close um, ally of his. So this really really matters. This wasn't the official Leave campaign, but nonetheless there's no doubt that Leave.eu, particularly in more labour areas, more working class areas, where they really focused on immigration, where Nigel Farage really led the way, doubtless it made some difference. How much difference? We can't necessarily say, but it made some difference. So it really does matter in terms of our political process, in terms of the health of our democracy, that we know exactly where that money has come from. And the point is, this is really rather unprecedented for the Electoral Commission not only to say that they're not entirely sure that that was true, that the fact that uh, the money actually came from where Mr Banks said it does, but also to then refer it to the National Crime Agency really, really matters. And it matters because the National Crime Agency has the jurisdiction, has the ability to investigate this in a way that the Electoral Commission doesn't, because they have the ability to really probe into the Isle of Man company, uh, Rock Holdings, in a way that the Electoral Commission uh, does not. Now, of course, Mr Banks says that it's all very, very clear, or the money basically came from Rock Services, Rock, uh, the Rock Holdings is simply a holding company, but he's rather changed his story on that because just a few months ago when he was being questioned in Parliament, when he was asked about Rock Services, he said it was essentially a treasury company, didn't really have much money of its own. Of its own. Now Mr Banks is basically saying that is where the money has come from. Mr Banks, in his interviews today, has not answered the crucial question. Where did the money come from? He then says, well, on different levels, it might have come a bit from here, maybe some of my business is here, but he hasn't been able to really spell out in any serious way where the money has come from. And until he does that, it will not be put, this story won't go away, because as I say, it is extremely important, because it's the biggest political donation in our history.
Uh, Lewis Goodall there at Westminster. We're joined now by Ian Lucas, a Labour MP who sits on the Digital, Culture, Media and Sport Committee, which is uh, conducting its own investigation into the referendum campaign. And Mr Banks has described the chair of that committee, Damien Collins, as a snake in the grass. Good afternoon to you, Ian Lucas. You have had dealings uh, with you've had dealings with Aaron Banks. What do you make of him? I think he's someone who obfuscates and never gives a straight answer to a straight question. And you say that why? Because he had an opportunity when he gave evidence to our committee in the summer to give straight answers to straight questions that we put to him and he didn't do so. And now he's also contradicting the answers that he gave to that committee in the summer in his, uh, in his interview today. And how does that stand legally, then, his, uh, what he's said to you and how he may be changing uh, what he's said? Well, I think it undermines his credibility fundamentally. But I think the really important decision that's been made in the last few days has been the decision by the Electoral Commission to report all this to the National Crime Agency. Because the difficulty to date is that committees, like the Select Committee on which I serve, don't have the powers to go through the books and investigate Mr Banks and his companies fully, whereas the National Crime Agency does. It's really important, as Lewis Good Goodall said earlier, to get to the bottom of all this. This is about playing by the rules in a democracy. It's really important. And we want the National Crime Agency to pursue the evidence, look at the contradictions that Mr Banks has, has given to us, and to reach a conclusion by looking and sifting uh, a for in a forensic examination all of the information that I is out there in a way that we simply didn't have the power to do on our committee. Why shouldn't Aaron Banks uh, give his money to whomsoever he likes? That is entirely uh, something that he can do, provided it is his money. And he's been repeatedly asked, where did this money come from? And we still don't have a clear answer to that. If Mr Banks plays by the rules, then he's entirely... Uh, uh, entitled to participate in elections and to contribute and to make donations but he's got to play by the rules like everybody else and I'm not satisfied that he has provided the evidence to show that he did play by the rules and he respected uh, the laws of this country. Uh, there has been obviously in uh, the past few days some suggestion this cash may have been channeled through Russia. He's denied any Russian involvement today. He has, but he, he also made various uh, denials about the number of times that he met with the Russian ambassador. He met with the Russian ambassador in the lead up to the Brexit referendum. He hadn't had a close relationship with the Russian embassy before then. These are questions which legitimately arise because remember, this is the biggest political donation in British history. It's been a hugely important political context in which it's been made. And it's very, very important that we get to the truth of the matter. And uh, he's saying that uh, he is the victim of a witch hunt. Is your committee part of that witch hunt? Absolutely not. We are an all-party committee made up of members of parliament from, from three different parties in the House of Commons. It's been a very difficult inquiry to pursue, but we are determined to continue and, uh, and approach it fairly. But we want to get to the truth of the matter. We've uh, produced one interim report. We're delighted that one of the recommendations that this matter should be referred to the National Crime Agency has been followed. But we're going to continue with our inquiry because we want to get at the truth so that the British people know exactly where this money came from. And uh, Aaron Banks himself speaking to Sky News earlier saying that he is going to produce some figures tomorrow so that may satisfy you. Well, if he produces evidence that, that is correct and is backed up, then, then that will satisfy me. But the reality is that he's had ample opportunity to do that over many, many months. He had ample opportunity when he spoke to us, but all we got was bluster and confusion, which has been repeated today. So we, what we want is a forensic inquiry, which is something that will now, now be carried out, because we want to get to the truth of the matter. All right, we'll have to leave it there for now. Uh, Ian Lucas is on the Digital Culture, Media and Sport Committee investigating uh, Aaron Banks. Thank you uh, indeed for your time this afternoon here on Sky News. Thank you very much.